inches. <laughs> I'm not going to put that in. Yeah, I'm not going to put it in. Hey, happy Sunday. Happy new vlog day. Uh, I've got my trousers on. <laughs> They've been washed, don't worry. That's the... <laughs> um, it's Sunday morning and I need some hydration firstly. I need to take my tablets before I forget. Yes, I've got our sunglasses on. Don't judge me. <laughs> in the bin why have I got Nickelback hero in my head and they say that a hero can save us not, it's not Sunday it's Monday that's stupid it's bank holiday Monday we're gonna go get food Attempted to like wave curl my hair last night. <laughs> oh, that mixed with humidity and sleep makes this. So, <clears throat> hi, let's have some more energy. This morning, oh no, the car's moving. So, <laughs> last night, I went on a date and I missed my last train because it was Sunday. I missed my last train, bank holiday, by 20 seconds because I saw the train go vroom. And to be honest, because I never normally leave it that late, I never, I'm never out on a Sunday, all these things, I didn't realise. I thought night, I didn't realise the night tube was only Saturday, Friday, Saturday because I'm never normally out in London, I'm normally always driving. So, I, my date was like, let's get you home, da 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 da, and I'm like, no, I'm absolutely fine, please. Just, you get home yourself, I'm fine. And he was like, he respected my decision, but I think he was a bit like, I wanna get you home. But I'm like, I'm fine. Anyway, so, we were in, <laughs> We were in, um, sorry, just met a left, let, let a nice man across the road and he, he, he was cute. Um, he was like, thank you. Um, so we were at Charing Cross and the last northbound train had gone. This is all very information, very important information, which I'm going to tell you, which is, I'm going to be editing this thinking, Lauren, shut up, no one cares. Um, hi, editing Lauren here. Yeah, she's right. Uh, it's painful. So enjoy. So the last northbound train is gone. So I was like, okay, let's get southbound. Go two stops. Got to Waterloo. Tried to get the Jubilee line up to my stop. And um, that was the one I missed by 20 seconds. And when I said to my date, you go, I'm fine. And also my, oh, it's carnival today and they're all dressed in oh loads of feathers and stuff amazing i've lost my train of thought the feathers were so pretty so i go out of the station i look at my uber to see how much it would be to get me back from waterloo 37 pounds i was like that's not happening so i was looking at the buses the bus took me back to charing cross then i had to walk over trafalgar square and my shoes were absolutely killing me. I've already put the boots in my car to donate them to charity because they absolutely tore my feet apart. So, and I forgot to put, I had, I didn't put enough chub rub on my legs. So my legs are cut to, cut to crap. My feet were cut to crap. That's part of the reason why I told him to go because I was like hobbling and it was painful and I just didn't want to be witnessed 
suffering like that. This has just got very deep. Yeah, then I got, so this was about midnight. Long story short, I somehow managed to get three buses and get home. Also, I live near Notting Hill Carnival and it's on at the moment. So everything was diverted, everything was a thing. Luckily I got home with just a short walk at the end and when I got to my road, I just took my shoes off and I was like, I can't, I nearly dumped them. Cause I was like, I can't be bothered with these boots anymore. They were like my big chunky black boots. I found them on a wall. So they were brand new when I found them but they were just too small for me and I haven't worn them in a long time and maybe my feet have grown, I don't know. But they just were the worst. Um, oh, even my, I've got germline on my feet now and plasters. <coughs> I've got two plasters on each foot. Wow, this is a really depressing start to a video. I apologize, but this is real life, guys. This is what you're here for. So this is all to say, the only thing that's gonna sort my mood out right now is McDonald's breakfast. So that's where we're headed. <laughs> <laughs> but suffice to say it was a good date I actually told him about my date with the other guy the other week and about how I had to pay for the burger so last night he was like we're going for a makeup date I'm buying you burger and chips and it's on me and I was like okay so yeah so I'm celebrating some burger and chips with a McDonald's breakfast the next morning yes Hi, morning. Can I have a Mighty McMuffin meal, please? Ketchup or brown sauce? I will have ketchup, please. And we uh, Can I have an iced latte? Yeah, anything else? Can I have a li large iced latte, please? Yeah. And can I have a cheesy bacon flatbread? Yeah, that's everything. That's it, thanks. Thank you, thanks. Thanks. Sounds like she needs a Mighty McMuffin. <laughs> thanks. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. I got a nice smile get in my belly. Hi, morning, thanks. You too. <laughs> nice. Mmm, it's so fresh. Bye. So obviously, because I got ready for my date yesterday, I completely messed up my <laughs> serene ambiance. So we're going to tidy up. Ready? Yay. And now let's do this floor. Ta-da. Hi, editing Lauren here. So the next thing you're about to see is me having a go on my new electric violin. Now, it sounds squeaky because firstly, I haven't played properly. Apart from last year when I bought this violin, I haven't played for about 20 years. Um, and I just have a little bit of a fiddle, shall we say, and I'm a little bit self-conscious about it, but I just feel like I need to put a disclaimer in. Firstly, it's an electric violin, so I can actually hear the sound better in my ears because I've got earplugs plugged into it, but it comes out a bit like tinny. So yeah, and also I just shoved on some songs. I This is not even rehearsed. It's not even, it's just me thinking, okay, what note goes with that? That's that note, let's just play it. And when I put on some Ludovico in a minute, I just play it, which why I actually kind of impressed myself because I didn't think I'd know the notes, but I did, because it's just in me. Um, You've got the music in you, don't let go. Yeah, I hate that song. So yeah, enjoy. That's 
FBI. <laughs> Wait, where's A? So to tune a violin, use the pegs to get the main bit of the work and then you use the little screws here to, to tune it, like to slide it. Bang! <laughs> I'm pushing it in as I'm twisting it so that it hopefully stays. I'm not, it's not as difficult as I'm making it look, I'm just trying to keep it tight. It's because when you push one in, they move. It's annoying. Now we need to resin the bow. That was that song the other day, wasn't there, that I wanted to harmonize to. It's that because this is the thing with violins so open a is this it does it's not even in tune okay so open a is this second string in but you can get a better sounding a with the fourth finger on the string over which is the d string yes there is a g string haha um so that is the same as that Oh, it's so, I forgot how like close the strings are and I keep like. So I just moved the chairs round. I swapped them. And I think this looks better because this one is bigger and there it just takes up too much, too much real estate with the eye. See what I mean? That looks better. Yeah, I like that more. And also I sit on this one when I work so when I'm sat here, I can look at my lovely view of my plants and things, rather than sitting there and looking at the crap over there. So, I have just had my counselling for the week. Um, it's so funny because today my negativity, self, negative self-talk was at an all-time high. And sometimes for me, I can go from like being really present, really kind, understanding all these things to like polar opposite. And um, today she was like, you're really going from, you're really doing extremes. There's a lot of extremes. She said, there's a lot of extremes here. Um, Oh, there are 5,000 cars coming down this road. See, extremes, there are not 5,000 cars, there are four. <laughs> so I can literally be so kind and, you know, we're all humans, we're living in a 
a really difficult society to try and manage as a woman, as a plus size woman, you know, considering I have so much privilege, but like taking into consideration my struggles for myself, I can sit with that. But then on the other side of things, I just feel like the worst person. <clears throat> and I'm not telling you this so that you say, no, Lauren, you're amazing. No, I, I just, I'm just saying because I hope that, you know, some of you no I don't hope some of you resonate I hope none of you resonate I hope none of you have to deal with this but I think it will be a lot more common than we it should be it shouldn't be common <clears throat> and she was like look at the slogan on your t-shirt and I was like oh shit <laughs> everything you are is enough and I was like oh and then I was like I'm a fraud <clears throat> and we were just talking about the fact that I cannot get myself to the gym I haven't been for a couple of months now and even then it was a one-off so I've booked a couple of classes I just haven't been and we were talking about about it we were unpacking it and there's just so much there with like past trauma not wanting to get obsessed again not knowing how to regulate it in a kind way all the diet culture along with dealing with the body I'm in now and trying to do that with kindness there's just so much there and I deal with that by shutting down and not doing anything and it's just a massive vicious circle. I'm not even wearing a bra because I was just like, if I stop to put a bra on, firstly, I'm gonna have to take it off the second I get into the gym and also I'm just putting a bra on so because it's socially acceptable. So it's not necessarily socially acceptable to not wear a bra if you have big boobs and you are fat. I've actually got three swimming costumes because I didn't know which one I was gonna choose. <laughs> so I've given myself like the biggest choice. <gasps> There's my hairband. I am just going to go to the gym and I am just gonna get in the pool. That's literally all I'm gonna do. Whether I swim a length or not, I mean, I probably will. And try and beat down this devil, this dementor that I feel like I've got in my head. It's important that you see me like this as well because this is real life. I don't even want to go. Do I want to go? I do want to go. I want to feel the water on my skin. I want to, I want to be underwater and just have that peace where you can't hear anything. Everything just gets shut out and my brain goes quiet for like once. And what's the worst that can happen? I can come home. It's interesting. Normally I like naturally smile and like, but today my face just feels pulled down. Like my mouth feels pulled down. Mm. Let's go get in that water. Just take a moment for the hair. I know I put curl cream in it and then <laughs> brushed it dry. 
<laughs> now I feel like my mouth is pulled the other way. It's pulled up now. <laughs> Endorphins, oh my God. <sighs> I've missed this so much. So freaking much. I went for a swim, it was so busy. There were like, it's quite a small pool. And at one point there were 11 people in the pool, which is lots. I tried to not look at the time because it doesn't matter how long you exercise for. Didn't even, no, let's rephrase that. It doesn't matter how long you move for. I didn't even pay attention to how long I was in that pool for. Um, but I just swum until I didn't want to swim anymore and I was done. Got out, went into the steam. I don't like sauna, I don't like dry heat. I like wet heat. And, uh, oh, reborn. Reborn. And then I had a nice cold, long shower. Moisturised blow dried ah and I'm trying not to blame myself because in the pool I was just really sad I was just like I'm just so sad and so tired and I'm like smiling away but like that's just the endorphin hit I'm so tired and I'm so sad of like fighting the shite in the world the diet culture the negative self-talk that we've all had, you know, subconsciously, consciously bullied into us from such a young age, whether it's media, whether it's friends, family, whatever it might be, it's all, we've all got it. We've all got it. And I think a lot of you follow me because you relate in that way, or you just like watching me do the washing up. You know how many people said they loved watching my washing up time-lapse? <laughs> it was so cool. But it would be easy to slip back into, I'm not trying to toxic positivity myself here, even though, because I was thinking to myself like, name three things you're happy with, and I'm not. I'm proud of myself to forget into the gym, but then I'm like, how blooming stupid am I? But then that's more negativity. And I'm like, I'm grateful I got myself here. That's as good as I could get, and I was happy with that. I'm grateful I got myself here, but I'm sad. But I freaking did it. My, the bully's going off in my head still like well done you got to your private gym uh, your Nuffield Health gym and you had a lovely swim in the pool and you had a sauna and you had like poor you isn't life hard yeah I'm freaking lucky that I get these things and yes but that's because I budget my money really well and I don't do other things why am I justifying it Okay, I need to stop now. I need to just stop. Yeah. Good morning. I woke up this morning thinking there was the start of a leak in my ceiling. Because um, there's a massive something on my ceiling it's just a spider <laughs> but I was like oh thank goodness it's not a huge leak I know some of you are probably going to be triggered by a spider I actually love spiders it's fine it's there <clears throat> so I'm just gonna just gonna let him be also because my ceilings are really high I don't want to firstly damage myself by trying to get him out of here, like out the window. I would not ever kill him, her, them, never assume, because I would not be able to reach that high, even if I stood on a chair. No. So, you know what? My little mate can stay. I've got a bit of a headache this morning. Might be because there was a lot of emotion yesterday, but it's so funny. Like I went obviously swimming. Well, actually, no, you don't know that. That was yesterday. I could be like, it's now a week later. No, it's just, it was yesterday night. Last night. That's <laughs> my alarm. If any of you like, oh, if any of you like classical, that's John Taverner, the lamb. It was one of my, one of my, um, alarms. Lauren always used to find it so creepy. 
yeah, so I went for a swim last night, obviously. Then I had a bit of food, edited a bit, because I, I was trying to watch some TV and relax, but I couldn't. So I did some editing, and then about half ten, I was like, it's time for sleep. So I listened to a calm meditation. For instance, when those meditations are like, relax to the jaw, and you realise you've been like, and before I knew it, I was asleep. I didn't even finish it. I was asleep before it ended. So that was good. And then this morning, I've woken up before my alarm. That was my normal alarm. And it's interesting because so much of the time, I'm so exhausted. I don't go to the gym because I feel exhausted. But then I go to the gym. I have an earlier night than normal, and I'm up way earlier than normal, naturally. I mean, yes, Lauren, that's, that's how it works. And then I just went for a wee and I saw my swimming costume drying. Well, it's dry. And I was like, maybe I could go again today. See, it's the obsession setting in already. But is it obsession? <sighs> Who knows? I've got a bit of a headache. I need to put myself first today. I need to drink some water. Do I have any fruit? I think I've run out of satsumas. I fancy some fruit. Might have to go shopping. Let's see what the day has in store. So I was fine when I could see the spider. <laughs> but I've been in bed now for about half an hour just scrolling. I did do a morning meditation, which made me feel like better than everyone else. And then I've just been doom scrolling for the past half an hour. So now I just have avoided, avoided all, all feelings of goodness. Um, and now the spider is now gone. So where art thou? my little eight-legged friend. <sighs> as long as it doesn't crawl in my mouth at night. Hi, I'm here. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks very much. <laughs> I may not have washed up last night. I did wipe down. <laughs> so, oh. So I just ordered with GoPuff, ironically, just made me out of breath. Um, <clears throat> because they deliver from Morrison's and not sponsored at all. And some of the, some of the deals are really good. And the way I see it is if I went to the shop, I'd spend way more because I'd see way more things. Um, should we do a little haulie, haulio, haulio in glaciers? <laughs> oh my God. I made myself a lovely tea this morning and um, the milk curdled. I never drink tea. I made myself an Earl Grey for the first time this year and my milk was like that. So here is a haul. You know what? I've actually got a 10 pounds off code. So if I, if you, if you use the code, then I get 10 pounds off and you get 10 pounds off. So yeah, I'll post it if you're interested, not sponsored at all, it's just my life. Kale, <laughs> because I had a salad years ago that was like, I wanna use up some of my tins and it was chickpeas, beans, kale, Caesar dressing, obviously you gotta make it nice. Maybe I might put a little bit of anchovies in there, uh, olives, um, basically just to get me to eat some greens. There's no room here. Everything's covered in tuna from last night. <clears throat> Little gem, lettuces. Wow, it's all so much green. Okay, um, rocket more little gem. These lettuces are great for storing in the freezer because they last. I find that generally leaves don't last. Onion rings. Yum. Yum onion rings. <laughs> oh, I should have got cereal. Sweet clems. I'm not sure what the difference is between sweet clems and clementines, but these, I got these last week. They were really good. Cucumber. Lemon. They were trying to get me to buy a pack of three, but I was like, one's probably going to go off, let alone three. Uh, penne. K. 
carrots. I'm actually gonna have to chop these up because I wanted to get chopped carrots and they were sold out. Mini gherkins to chop up in my little salad. Apples. Long life semi because who doesn't like a semi that lasts a long time? God, sorry. Fairyland cookies. I haven't had these in years. Um, this is the good bag now. <gasps> oh, um, mature cheese, ham, wraps, sesame bagels, fresh milk. I do like getting the filtered one because it does last longer. Capers. That was. <laughs> that's a really small jar. Baby capers. I don't know what that means. Oh, they're dusty. Ugh. For my salads, and I want to put them in with uh, tuna and stuff. And an uh, almond croissant. 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 So there's my haul. Just need to make a coffee. That's all I literally need. Coffee or tea? Tea. I've got a taste for our, for our grey now. I really need to sort out this kitchen, but like once and for all. <laughs> Not once and for all, once. Because I've just got so much stuff just like hanging on this, like, I've got two bananas there. Oh, I forgot. Cause I couldn't get bananas thingy cause they'd sold out. Yes. Croissant. I maybe have four cups of tea a year. So you're witnessing it. You're witnessing a very rare event here. Now I could just eat my croissant out of a bag, but I'm gonna, oh, that's a big one, isn't it? Look at that. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I'm surprised it came so intact. It's way too hot. <laughs> I'm too excited. It's too hot. This nearly just slipped off. I will say, as I'm getting older, my tastes are changing because I don't think I've ever chosen an, an almond croissant before. I would always go plain. To be honest, I only chose it because the plain one was sold out. Because <clears throat> um, I always say to myself, I don't like marzipan, which is a lie. Well, no, it's not a lie, but hello. But yeah, I just knew I'd like it. And I like just Disorono, which is almonds, isn't it? And here's a reminder. Just because you move your body doesn't mean you can't eat nice food. And you don't, this isn't, I didn't earn this. It's just food. I should really get on with some work now. <laughs>
doesn't really go. Carrots. So we have it, cheesy, cheesy egg salad bagel and carrots with a bit of Caesar. Did Maryland cookies always used to be that small? That's tiny. Hi. So I've just noticed something really weird on my hand. I've got like four little red dots, right? And it just occurred to me about that freaking spider. So I've just Googled it. It says this one. I don't know if it is this one. It says about a wolf spider. Um, they're not dangerous, apparently. But that is definitely so these two dots here. Is definitely what I've got. I don't know whether it's bitten me twice. It's not even zooming in because it looks like I've got four dots. And I think I slept with this hand out of the bed. But it's somewhere in my freaking house. It even says here, wolf spiders are solitary and they tend to avoid people and they only bite if, atta if, if threatened. It basically says clean the area, apply an ice pack if it's swollen, if it's very itchy, take over the counter antihistamines, avoid scratching. It could signal an allergic reaction, swelling, itchiness, blistering, rash, breathing problems. But it says generally they are not dangerous. And in the vast majority of cases, a person bitten by a wolf spider will react in the same way they would from a bite from any other minor insect. Little shit. And now I'm thinking, oh my God, it's really itchy, but I know it's just in my head. Ugh. Oh, I'm having my lunch break and watching Taskmaster. I definitely need to make an effort today to go outside because I didn't go outside yesterday and I stayed in with my blinds shut all day. My last week's video has gone off. It's got nearly 10,000 views in the week. Um, I'm not sure why. It might be because I put living alone in my 30s as the like text on the picture. And I also put a picture of me stood up with my jeans on and my bum looks excellent. So that might also be the reason. Um, but yeah, I've had loads of comments saying people are new to the channel. So if you're new, hi, I'm Lauren. Just been bitten by a freaking spider uh, in London, England. <laughs> and it says these spiders normally live in lofts or like damp sheds. I'm like, this place, <laughs> don't live in a damp shed. Thanks very much. Anyway. Hi, if you are new, welcome. Welcome to the, <laughs> sorry, welcome to... <laughs> welcome to the real life. Um, I was gonna say madhouse, but that's probably not very um, PC of me. So yeah, I need to make an effort to go out today. I want to go to the gym. I tried to push myself yesterday to go, even though I went the day before, but I realized that I was forcing myself out of fake want. I didn't actually wanna go. I just thought I did because loads of reasons, fear, all this stuff. So I do want to go today. So I'm going to make an effort to go after work before dinner. And I need to go and collect a parcel from next. I got a comment. I keep looking at that freaking bite. I got a comment from Lana on my last video because I said that I had a voucher to spend and she asked if it was a coupon. Now in England, if we say voucher, you it means gift card. So basically I bought a dress on Vint. This is really cheeky. I bought a dress from Vinted on from it was a next dress. I bought it from Vinted and it still had the tags on it. Um, I bought it for 15 quid and it was 100. I shouldn't even say this as well. I'm going to whisper. I bought it for 15 quid and it was 100 and it didn't fit me. It looked terrible. So I took it back to next and they gave me a full voucher for 95 pounds because I got a, a gift card for the money. I then had to spend. I bought some stuff on the gift card that I got. But then I had returned some of that stuff. And because I bought it on the gift card, each time they've refunded me, they've had to send me a new gift card in the post. So I'm slowly eking down the money to actually spend it and get something I want to keep. So today, I think I've got to pick up a skirt a top and three pairs of shoes because um, I've got the, I'm a bridesmaid in a couple of weeks uh, in Italy. Um, so I need a few little different outfits and different things. So uh, yeah, we're going to go there today to pick up the parcel and do the gym. 
I also need to post something. I'm just gonna sit here and work for a few more hours. I've just been eating Maryland cookies. Oh my God, I've eaten like half a packet. I bought these yesterday. Because they're, they're so small. It's like one bite and it's gone. So yeah, I'm just gonna... Oh God, I feel like I'm itchy now. Bloody spider. I saved his life by not getting him. And then he like bites me in the night. So, oh, he was on my hand. <coughs> Today's one of those days when you realize you haven't looked in the mirror for like ages and you remember that you're a freaking person. <sighs> so I'm gonna get my stuff for swimming that has been, I got a microfiber towel for my birthday from my brother. Uh, and sister-in-law and it's two meters long and it um i think it was it was from amazon and it because obviously whenever i have my gym bag it um it's always just like one huge towel sorry that fan's really annoying it goes into that tiny little thing and it's got a hook on it and then i have my hair turban and my swimming costume. <laughs> Why have I got hiccups? I've literally been in my studio. Did I tell you this earlier? With the blinds down now for like three days. That's a lie. Two days. So here's my gym bag. My gorgeous friend Lauren, the one who got stood on a wasp the other day, got me this. So we've got flip flops. Yeah, we've got everything in there. Nice. You know when you just want like minimal effort to get out of the house? I'm just not even gonna put socks on. <laughs> YOLO. I'm also gonna go out in this, which I dropped yogurt all down earlier. That's fine. Um, I am gonna have a jumper though because it is cold outside. Winter's decided to grace us with its presence. We're gonna have a spritz of some scent. Uh, om, isimiyaki po om intense. I never know where the little thing is. We have light. Phone. Hello? Okay, let's go. Should have put socks on. Oh yeah. This shows how antisocial I've been. Freaking parcel, and I didn't even come down for it. This is a tune. We have arrived at Ext. <laughs> it's funny because they changed their branding, didn't they, a couple of years ago? And I remember when I first saw it, I was like, what is different? about that branding and it used to be in lowercase and now it's uppercase weird choice i think i think it was better lowercase put our old faithfuls on i'm not even wearing a bra like literally zero f's given today we'll open this parcel when we get back so we have something to look forward to oh hello I just bibbed by accident. I just elbowed the bibber. I just got hissed at walking in here because I'm not wearing a bra. Hissed at as in sexy lady hissed at. Hissed at kind of. I live in Halston, hissed at. Okay. 
There's loads of summer shirts for the summer that we have not had. Here we are back again. And there's an annoying child again. I thought these would be white, firstly. I got these and I didn't realise they were extra wide and they were too big, annoyingly. Next. Okay, these are quite nice. Just some simple white trainers. Okay, these are size nine. My feet still hurt from the other night. I'll keep those because my foot started bleeding and I don't want to bleed all over these. Why didn't I wear socks? And then I got these as a little flat option for the wedding, for the evening, if my feet really hurt. I've got cushion soles because my dress is pink. It's a skirt. I like it. It's okay, not too see-through. Oh, I thought this would be cropped. It's okay, I need to try these on when I get home. All of the machines were out of order and I cannot be bothered to queue up to return these, so I'll just come back. And I know that that's loads of effort. Actually, it's not. This is quite a central place for me to drive. Um, and then I can check the rest of the stuff at home. It's always so busy. Next is always so freaking busy. Oh. I got a weekly planner. Um, that's like a tear off one. You put it on the wall. Achieving these goals because I want to make myself go to the gym and I know that if I don't plan it I won't do it or if I don't plan it I'll try and do it too much and there's even like a section for dinner tonight which I thought was really sweet so I can actually focusing on how many s's does focusing have how do you spell focusing they spelled focusing wrong they've put it with two s's focusing on my spelling Oh, it's going to be spelt wrong on every page. All 50 pages. Focusing on letting the little things go. <laughs> Where are my keys? Here they are. Okay, now we're going to go for a swim. And a steam. Oh, tune! Oh, why have I got my heating on? So many questions, so little time. I just saw a man, an attractive man, in navy blue, velour trousers, velour. <laughs> I don't think I've seen velour in about 10 years. They looked good on him actually, but still, velour. I used to have velour. I just saw this girl who, um, I don't even know her name. We used to speak off to Aqua. Just one of those people that you just click with. I, I said, I don't even know her name. Um, but I just saw her and she was like, <gasps> and I was like, <gasps> <laughs> It's eight o'clock and it's friggin' nearly dark. <sighs> Winter is coming, everyone. Winter is coming. So that was a really good swim. It was hardly, it was hardly anyone in there. Bearing in mind I came 
the same time the other day. It's funny, whenever it's a Monday or a Tuesday, if it's bank holiday, it's always packed. Because people are like, oh, I need to undo what I did at the weekend, meh. Yeah, I had a whole lane to myself for a bit. And then this idiot got in. Idiot, also known as innocent human being. <laughs> Doing nothing wrong. Engine, engine number nine. On the New York Transit line. If my dream goes off the track, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Let's go. So I'm going to fill up this whilst my pasta boils and I've got a uh, special pen to do it with. So annoying. So obviously the first thing I did was I crossed out the S, extra S, um, focusing on no noticing negative thoughts. And I don't want to write like instantly changing them. I just want to notice, notice it. Achieving these goals, moving more, breathing more, resting more, editing, finding time to breathe, trying to keep tidy, just being awesome. And I'm ignoring the fact I added an I in the middle of just because I'm human. <laughs> I've been known to spell my own name wrong. Uh, yeah, more of the same. Smile. Get some sunshine. That is important this weekend because I never do it. I have just washed up. And hi. Editing Lauren here again. You're gonna have to wait till next week to see why I'm all dressed up. But, well, face is done up, I'm back in my pajamas now. But I think we're gonna end the vlog here. It's a long one. Um, you have got to this point, which means you are a superstar. Please comment superstar, and I'll give you a star emoji. Okay, deal? Um, thank you so much for watching it. If you like these longer ones, please let me know. I have loved filming this week. I've loved getting back to things, getting back to the gym, feeling better in myself. Um, obviously, I had a down earlier in the week, the beginning with all my negativity. I'm feeling better now. So I hope you've enjoyed this vlog. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give a comment, um, like. Also, the amount of people that like other people's comments on my videos blows my mind. Like I was looking last week and there's a comment with like 40 thumbs ups on it. And I absolutely love it. So please go and like someone else's comment. Um, you guys giving each other love fills me up so much. So yeah, there's my coffee link below if you'd like to support me and buy me a coffee. Uh, we'll be here next week for a new vlog. Love you, love you, love you. Bye.